Hey, how's it going guys? This is Dave2D and this is a video on the 2016 HP Omen. So instead of an internal spec bump like a lot of companies did this year, HP did a full redesign on the Omen. Now right off the bat, it's a more traditional design. Instead of that edgy trapezoid shape from last year, it's a more standard rounded rectangle. The top surface has this soft touch rubber coating on it. I like soft touch materials when they're new and this one looks pretty nice. It has this diagonal weave pattern on it, but if you bang it up or you scratch it, the finish doesn't look very good. So keep it protected with a case or a sleeve. The build quality is okay. It's a plastic build. Last year's Omen had a nicer overall finish because it had more metal, but this year's version is still decent. It just doesn't feel as premium. The bottom panel is plastic with some venting grates, but there's no soft touch finish on this. The screen and the chassis have a bit of flex, but it's nothing too bad. The hinges are a little tight. It's not easily opened with one hand. And I think the overall build quality is a step down from last year because there's just not as much metal used in the construction process. The good thing is that when you don't use as much metal, the overall price comes down. So this year's Omen starts at $900. Opening it up, the screen on this model is a 4K IPS panel. It's not a touch screen, but it's bright at around 330 nits. It has pretty good color accuracy good viewing angles. Contrast could be better, but overall I would consider this to be a pretty good screen. Now this is the upgraded panel. It's an extra $90. I've seen the 1080p screen on the base model and it's so much worse. It's really dim. It's around 200 nits at max brightness and the color accuracy was surprisingly bad. I highly recommend spending the money to upgrade to the 4K panel. The webcam is a standard HD webcam. It looks okay. There is an option to get a real sense 3D camera if you want to use Windows Hello. The keyboard area has the same diagonal pattern as the lid, but instead of that soft touch finish, it's just a smooth surface. At the top of this are the speakers. They have Bang & Olufsen branding again, but like most laptop speakers in this price range, they don't sound particularly good. It's loud and it's positioned nicely, but it's not a balanced sound. There's a very obvious deficiency in bass, even if you use the software adjustments. The keyboard and the trackpad are the same ones as the HP Pavilion, or at least I think they are. They feel very similar. The keyboard has red backlighting now. It's a decent keyboard, relatively short stroke, but there's nothing I really dislike about it. The keyboard is shifted over to the left again because of the number pad, and the up and down arrow keys could be bigger or positioned better, but overall the typing experience is enjoyable. The trackpad feels small. It's wide, but it's not roomy from front to back, so doing gestures feels a little cramped. Tracking works fine. I didn't notice any skipping or anything. The buttons need a bit more force to trigger than I'm used to, but yeah, nothing I really dislike about the trackpad either. When it's closed up, it's less than an inch thick, so it's a little thinner than your average 15 inch gaming laptop. As for ports, on this side, there's an ethernet, HDMI, an SD card slot, and one of the two USB 3.0s. The other side has a second USB 3.0 and a USB 2.0. There's also your standard audio jack, but there's no Thunderbolt 3, so there's no external GPU option. The Omen comes in several graphics card configurations. The $900 base model has a GTX 950M, and you can upgrade that for $30 to a GTX 960M. The one I have here is the top spec GTX 965M. I wouldn't get the 950M. It's an okay card, but for an extra $30, that upgrade to the 960M is so worth it. The 960M will do 60 frames per second for light games, even on ultra settings pretty easily, and moderately demanding games will still hit 60 frames per second at medium or high graphic settings. I've reviewed a lot of laptops with that card, so you can check those out for more details. The 965M is actually a noticeable step up in performance. Depending on the game and screen resolution, it's around a 20% improvement in frame rates over the 960M. Again, this is highly dependent on the game and the graphic setting, but it is a noticeable boost. Thermally, the 2016 Omen runs relatively cool. The fans do a good job in keeping the system cool, but in terms of fan noise, the Omen is slightly louder than the average laptop. Just by a few decibels, but it's more of a reason to put on headphones if you're playing games. The 7200 RPM hard drive has some pretty average performance. You can configure some models to include an SSD, and the performance on the factory SSD isn't very good either. Fortunately, it's easy to open up and upgrade them, you just remove the screws on the bottom, pop off the keyboard, and you can see that the RAM is upgradable. There's two slots to work with. The two storage bays are also upgradable. There's a two and a half inch SATA drive and also room for an M2 PCIe stick. The battery down here, 61.5 watt hour battery, takes around two and a half hours to charge up, and I'm getting around four hours of battery life with screen at around 80% brightness. My guess is that the 1080p panel would be closer to five and a half, six hours. All right, the 2016 HP Omen, soft touch finish, Build quality is respectable for a plastic build. 
The 4K screen is bright, reasonably color accurate, and a highly recommended upgrade over the 1080p option. The keyboard is decent, backlighting is red, and overall an enjoyable typing experience. The trackpad could be a little taller and the buttons are harder to press, but it's a very usable trackpad. Inside, the Skylake i7 and the GTX 965M are great performers and they're very well cooled by fans that are a little bit louder than I'd like. The RAM and the storage are easily accessible and upgradable, and the battery will give you around four hours of regular use if you're using the 4K screen. Now, last year's Omen was a more premium product. It was more expensive, it had better build quality, and it looked very unique. This year's Omen, it's a little more generic looking. The build quality has come down, and the price has come down with it, which is cool. Now, there's nothing about the Omen that it excels at. It's kind of very good across the board. If you get the 4K screen, I think you're getting a little bit better value than the average laptop in this space. But yeah, if you like the brand or if you like the way that the laptop looks, I think it's a good pickup. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys liked it. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. It's been nice. I'll see you guys next time.